Hello viewers, I am here with another Transformers animated video over a different kind of bumblebee, Ratchet and Bulkhead from the animated. And I'm going to go over the biggest first. So let's look at Bulkhead. Now this was Bulkhead's debut into the Transformers history. Not like that much, but it was still his debut. He is a futuristic armor car. And he is the only one in the entire scanning process or something who changed colors. Because the actual color of the armor cars were gray. But I do like how they keep the stars on them and everything. The only thing that's reminiscent to Transformation is one, or you can cut the bottom if you do, but I never do. The only thing really is that this should be flat up. But I can get away with saying it doesn't have to be. Now, you can also pull that down and that can just be something. I don't know. But they even made little windows and these weird doors and all that type stuff. But let's get them into Transform. Open up the back. And like actually in the series, he has a just like transformation. Except he just supposed to just fly up. Like that. There has springs on them, but Mine don't work as well. And this entire thing... Wait. Pull out the feet. And flip the wheels into the bottom of the foot as heels. Fold him up. And his head will fly out. Pull this thing. Look back. Make sure the stars are facing up. And then pull this part. Split it back and up. Back. Oh, come on. And then back and up. And I didn't actually realize that for a long time that they can do that. And this is Bulkhead. His Autobot symbol is supposed to come out of nowhere, which makes no sense at all. Just flips out. And that is the only Autobot symbol he has on the entire chassis. He has a tiny head for a huge body. And... That's really it. Oh yeah, he also has a weapon. That, if I can find the thing for it, shoots out. Just like in the series. Not that long, but it still does. And then that's just a little thing that flips out. In vehicle mode, I would say I like him better than in robot mode. And I also hate this because it's hard to pull out. And he's supposed to have one on each hand, but in this one just has a lookalike of it. So that doesn't make any sense. Pull him out of the picture. And go to Ratchet. Now Ratchet's been in Transformers for the beginning, since the beginning. And has really stuck to his part of just being a doctor. But has recently been given the attribute of the grumpy person in this series. So in the future, apparently War, or vehicles in Star, and other ve and hospital vehicles are lines, or beeping, one of those things are. And he actually is one of the Transformers, like Bumblebee and Optimus, I'm not sure about Prowl, or something that will trick you. But I'll show you that later. And I kind of like all the animated ones more in their vehicle mode than anything, because they're just so they're so cool. Not really that futuristic though. Now you transform. You have to flip up his feet, open that up. Then come out his, or flip up his legs, then pull out his feet if you can. Just push out, push down, put out. Flip that up, and those are the little things that's supposed to be back there. Flip this out. And then you have to open up that. You use an actual hand. Same thing with this suit. Or the other hand. And then just flip all that and tuck it away. And then you actually have to fold that up. So he has like one trickery on him. But the thing I love about him is that you can act they actually just took the time to make in the little seats. So it's like there actually is no one in him. And also, in the series, if you've ever seen it, he's missing one piece that is supposed to help him with doctor work. Well, 
that piece came with this muscle car dude. Which I just still don't know the name of, but you can take it off the muscle car dude and actually connect it to him. And that is actually kind of cool. Because he does eventually get it back. But it, when it transforms, it just tucks away. And it's actually part of his overall design that he has that missing. Because in the other episodes, he never uses it again, and it's always missing. And they always say he has one servo in the scrap. So it just doesn't make any sense. And his magnets in the series are just that on each arm. It makes no sense. It just. Uh, but they do give him real good detail. And he also comes with little tools, which I cannot locate at the time. But they're just little tools that peg into little bars on his hand, and then you can close up his hand, and he can hold a little hammer or a, ha a big hammer, and all that type of stuff. An electrical sword thingy in monkey wrench or something like that. He has a little glowy thing in the back of his head, like some other characters, for his eyes. And if you black that out, or most of the characters, it actually looks like their eyes are blinking. And then Ratchet falls down a lot. He has the big symbol on his chest, which is actually not supposed to pop up in vehicle mode, but it just pops up in robot mode. It's the only one he has, and of course, it's on his chest like most. And his head, I actually like how they gave him all the detail of the beat up chin and the missing little chip on his head. On his head. So I'll pull him over to the side and get my favorite out of the series, but one of the hardest to transform, Bumblebee. Now, I originally had a regular Bumblebee, and like I got a set of all a lot of Bumblebees, and then I broke it. I broke two Bumblebees, and I recently just broke the last one. I've broken all three of the Bumblebees I got in that set. But the other one was not this, it was an actual regular colored Bumblebee. It just so, it was so hard to transform before, I just never learned how. But I got aware, and I got this weird one. So it was the only one I didn't have. I had Prowl and Optimus, Ratchet and Bulkhead, and I really wanted to get the last guy. I got a Bumblebee. One of the automatic transformers, you press the little light on his top, and he just automatically transforms. But he was very small, and eventually broke, and I eventually had to get a real one. And it came to this. The only yellow that they kept in is on his wheels, and then for randomly, right, that's the little piece. His trunk can't open up. And here's my favorite. And I don't know what form this is, because I've never seen the second season, ever. I've only seen the first season. But that is the, like, Sentinel Bumblebee or something. A special version of Bumblebee. So, yeah. Let's transform him. Gotta fold up. Oh, yeah. Before I transform him, the windows on this thing are a little broken. Transform him up. And then just connect his hands. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot to show the giant spoiler. Just connect his hands and fold those out. Drop that. Form that. And fold this out. And I will really not be talk saying how to transform all of this because he had a lot of steps to his transformation. Get rid of those right now. You not actually have to get rid of them, but I do on mine because of how. And you have to the football all that over. And if you get it too far in, then you can't flip it over, and the window breaks, and it's just sad. If you're clicking in the background, that's some dude sitting in the background, messing with stuff. And I'm actually just going to keep these things off. I can show you where they go later. But here is Bumblebee with his stingers. These are not his actual hands. He's not only has stingers. That would be terrible. But, yeah. And his trick of the slip is that the top of the car, these two pieces, somehow supposed to shrink down and become that. And then the top just flips over. It's just a big mess. 
They try their best to keep in some yellow, putting a tiny bit right there on the legs and everywhere. But he's just mostly golden black. That's what I would call him. In yellow on the stingers, which connect just like in the series. Even though they are folded in a little bit. And if you want to know how you get the hands out, because in vehicle mode, it's better to put the stingers out. Fold that in, fold out the hand, and you fold those full in. Fold that in, fold the hand, and you really have the fingernails to transform all these. And he has regular hands now. It did come with rocket booster things, but I do not know where mine are. Should be around here somewhere. Um... Well, I cannot find both of them, but I can find one. Just like that. And the original one I bought also had the regular rockets. Or, that I got. Had regular rockets. And then these things just connect onto the back. They slip off a lot, so I just didn't want them on. And that is Bumblebee in the, in the Sentinel, maybe? Form. And then he has the little, stink, the little horns, which we call some kind of demon. So these are some of the Autobots. My Prow I do is missing an arm, and my Optimus cannot stand up right, and that is why they were not in this video. So see you later when I do a review or some Decepticons.